I'm Alison Norrington and my company is Story Central, which actually at the moment has two arms. There's Story Central Digital, which actually is my research for my PhD, and Story Central Labs, which I've recently kicked off to incubate some new fun properties. The work I do in the transmedia cross-platform world kind of divides into three components. First and foremost, I'm a writer and producer, so I work on my own content, although that's increasingly less as other things come up. Secondly, I'm a consultant and strategist and story architect, so there's lots of different titles for that. Um, to publishing, entertainment industry, games, films, television broadcast, radio, um, and I work with them to actually help develop and incubate potential stories that they have there. And then thirdly, I'm actually a masterclass trainer for Transmedia for the European Broadcasting Union. So they've actually invested quite a lot of time and commitment to training their members across the EBU to tell their, their television stories actually in ways that engage with multiple audiences on multiple levels. I think the best cross-platform ideas out there are ones that have story at their heart. And I think really the kind of the explosion of digital has created this kind of gold rush to platforms because there's a lot of platforms that are free and creators and writers can get their content out there quickly and they can move quickly and change things. But I think that the problem with that is there's no strategy underpinning it. And the best ones for me are ones that have really considered story and they've got a very strong core theme. Some people call it a DNA, some call it a story message. But that theme then resonates in other ways that the story is told beyond that primary platform. So the best ones for me are ones that have had that time in development and with a very strong story and strategy at the heart. And that's why they work. They work because there's time taken to understand, firstly, the genre of the story. The genre of the story, to a certain extent, dictates how the audience behave. So when we're watching crime and thriller and sci-fi, we would behave as an audience differently mentally to how we would behave when we're watching comedy or rom-com. I mean, for example, crime and thriller, we feel that's quite a passive experience perhaps to watch, but it's actually not because we're working quite hard internally to kind of piece together the scenes. There could be quite long gaps between scenes where we try to piece together what actually happened. So we're working quite hard. And really transmedia and cross-platform can jump into that space and amplify those gaps. So the stories that are considered in terms of genre, audience behaviours, and then pacing and timing as well, to give your audience time to do the things you want them to do in the gaps. So there's a lot out there that's working really well. And there's a lot in development right now, which is really, really exciting. But that time in development and strategy and listening to the audience are the ones for me that work best. Anyone generating a cross-platform idea, I would encourage them to revisit that core story, message and theme. So um, for me, I come from a novelist background and I kind of knew who my audience were, but I didn't really, had a rough idea, but I didn't really know. And it's very much like a push. We've had push broadcast right, in every medium, in gaming, in film, in TV, in publishing, it's been push. And then like we've got our fingers in the ears to not listen back. And uh, I think that I would encourage any creator now, if they're interested in doing that, to define their audience, understand their behaviours before they actually start kicking anything off too big. And also, you know, there's this whole premise of building a story world around your transmedia story. Um, transmedia for me is very much an approach to storytelling. It's not a quick fix. It's not going to make a weak story a good story. Without a good story, forget it. But some stories don't need to have a transmedia approach. The techniques maybe aren't so relevant. And I think that a small story doesn't, you shouldn't try to expand that to something bigger. So appreciate whether you have something that you could build out to a bigger world. If you don't, then either plan how you could or roll with it as it is. Not everything has to be all things to all people.